Hey guys, HydroHobbies.com again. This is Bill. This is Max. What's up? Um, this is going to be the sixth video in our unboxing portion of our PC or our custom PC building guide. Um, we're going to cover the hard drive and um, how to find you know what you need, what's best for you, and the CD DVD drive. So let's get to it. All right, here's the hard drive. If you heard in the uh, part selection vid. I had a Seagate drive that broke on me and I RMA'd it, so here's the new one that Seagate sent me. And it is a standard Barracuda drive, 500 gigabytes. And hard drives um, come in these anti-static bags, which um, help them from being affected by that static discharge and uh, breaking their circuits, so you can't use them at all. So. Um, Highly recommended when you store them, make sure they're stored in a bag like this or in a special plastic container that's designed to keep them safe. So, here's your drive. It's pretty standard. It has the SATA power and data cables right here. And um, I wouldn't recommend using an old um, PATA drive in any computer because they're just so slow now and SATA drives are getting really cheap. So, um, this is a standard connector. It's a SATA 2, 3.0 gigabits per second. This is a bandwidth, and um, uh, yeah, there's not really much to say about your hard drive. Just um, we'll get into different types of hard drives uh, when we go over what to look for when you buy them. So, yeah, yeah. 7200 RPM, I think, um, pretty standard for a hard drive. Nothing special. So now let's go over to the CD DVD drive. All right. So these components are, um, actually they're kind of annoying to me because they're still really slow. <laughs> it's so it's so much faster if you have like a, your data on flash memory, but obviously all the programs you're going to get will come on uh, CDs and DVDs today, so something you have to live with, but these are extremely cheap components, um, only about 18, 20 bucks. Uh, for a new one, and there, there's really not much variation in, in between them at all. Just um, there's a few features you can look for. Um, Light scribe, in which you can um, get special DVDs, which you can laser etch from the drive and make your own labels. I've never used that before, but um, doesn't look like this one have has it. I have another drive that has it though, but never seemed that useful to me. Um, there's the multiplier, not really sure, but it's like the read or write speed, and they're all pretty much standard across. You might get like a 22 times DVD burner or 24 times or 20 times, but I don't know. Unless you're burning, unless you're constantly burning DVDs, it's not going to make make much difference at all. So let's see. This disc Asus gives us. It's got Nero 9 Essentials, E Green, E Hammer, Asus <laughs> firmware update, and the quick install guide. I usually never pop this in. It's really simple. All you do is connect it just like the hard drive with the setup data and power, and it's good to go. If you do want to go for a Blu-ray drive for an entertainment PC, maybe Blu-ray burner, those can be a lot more expensive, and um, make sure that your graphics is compatible with it, and you actually need to install drivers for them, I believe. But this is just plug and play. It'll work um, with any kind of computer. Uh -huh. Again, these are all SATA. Connecting. Um, if you guys are still on uh, ATA, um, ribbon cables. Um, now it's just should have switched already, but right now, <laughs> I mean, the components are just so cheap, and you know, the speed upgrade will definitely be worth it. Okay, so this concludes our unboxing. Um, now we're gonna um, tell you guys what to look for when you're looking to buy um, hard drives. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so now we're gonna be. Um, giving you the lowdown on what to look for when you're buying a hard drive. Alright, so there's a couple things um, that are standard with all mechanical drives. And what mechanical means is that inside this drive there are actually discs that spin around. And um, drives today have like multiple platters so you get more storage space. But keep in mind that there are moving parts in here. While um, the SSDs that are becoming more popular have no moving parts as they're just flash memory. But you have your RPM on this, which is the same as the fan, it's rotations per minute. And um, that's just how fast the platters will spin. And the higher that is, the faster your um, data read and write speeds are going to be because the laser can find the files quicker if the disks are spinning around faster. So 
Um, that's a good thing to keep in mind. Pretty much 7200 RPM is standard almost on everything. While on notebooks, um, because they're smaller and they need to consume a little bit less power, they have a 5400 RPM standard. And you can get drives like the um, Western Digital's Velociraptor drives, which have a 10,000 RPM standard, um, and that will increase your read and write speeds a little bit. Uh -huh. In terms of overall performance, if you've already got a well, um, you know, a nice performing computer and you're looking for that extra um, speed upgrade, um, something cool you might want to look into is basically solid state drives. Here um, we have an Intel um, X25M 80 gigabyte that I just pulled from my laptop. And this, um, as you can see, compared to the Seagate drive, it's extremely small. Yeah, so the mechanical drives are a 3.5 inch form factor and the solid state drives are 2.5 inch and they have no moving parts as well so you can be a little bit more abusive to them so I wouldn't really recommend that because currently the prices are pretty high but again if you're looking for that, just that extra boost in speed um, definitely something you want to look into. Yeah, basically if you haven't tried an SSD yet then um, I don't know, you might say like, oh what's the big deal, you know my hard drive's fine but once you actually try it and you install Windows on it, um, I don't think you'll ever want to go back to a standard hard drive because it's just so amazingly fast how, um, how quick everything opens up. The one thing you're going to sacrifice though is your, um, your money and, <laughs> and of course um, the size of the drive itself because solid state disks um, cost a lot more per gigabyte than regular mechanical drives do. They are dropping down though, so um, what's becoming increasingly more common is just using a solid state drive as a boot drive. So basically you load up your operating system on here and any sort of um, programs you use a lot and then you just use your mechanical hard drive as storage. So you get the access times of a solid state drive and the storage of a mechanical drive. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up um, for our hard drive and CD DVD drive um, buying guide and unboxing. Um, harder obvious stuff.